A reading from the devotional, Mornings with Jesus. The Door, a testimony by Diane Neal Matthews. I am the door. If anyone enters by me, he will be saved and will go in and out and find pasture. John 10, 9. Whenever I have a medical appointment, I know one question I'll probably ask. How do I get out of here? One clinic I visit has a front door followed by a door into the orthopedics section. When my name was called, I entered a door into the wing with a group of doctors, then walked through a doorway to find my specific doctor, which led me down several twisting hallways to finally arrive at the designated exam room. I felt like I needed a GPS just to find the exit door. I like the theme of only one door in the Bible, one door in the ark one doorway in the tabernacle, and Jesus as the door. In New Testament times, a sheep pen had only one opening. At night, a shepherd guarded the flock by lying across the opening. In the morning, the shepherd led them out to find grass and water, all the while standing watch for danger. As our good shepherd, Jesus does far more than that. Jesus provides all I could ever need, as listed in the 23rd Psalm. Guidance, nourishment, refreshment, comfort, renewed strength, and deep soul rest. Like a shepherd who stretched across the doorway of a sheep pen to protect the flock, Jesus stretched out his body on a cruel cross to save me from sin's power. If I ever feel lost spiritually, I know how to find the right door. No GPS needed. A simple prayer shows me the way. Jesus, guide my steps. Faith Step Slowly read through Psalm 23 thinking about how Jesus fulfills each of these promises in your life. The Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely goodness and loving kindness shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the Lord's house forever. <laughs> 